I got big head, little arms. Good morning, guys. So it is, again, late afternoon, and Melissa just got home from work. I've just spent all morning kind of editing yesterday's vlog and not doing a whole lot else besides that. I took a shower, ate some lunch, cleaned a little bit around the apartment, and yeah, now Melissa is home from work. Hi, Melissa. What's up? Uh, we don't have much planned for tonight, do we? I was thinking about going to the gym, but I have a headache, and I yeah. don't know if I want to go with a headache. I'm sorry. I don't know what I want to do. I want to fold this freaking laundry. That's what I want to do. <laughs> Did you do Monday? I didn't do it. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. Monday is supposed to be laundry days, and so I was like, okay, well, then I'm going to wash, like, the dirty clothes that have accumulated on our closet floor over the last week since our laundry baskets have been full of clean clothes and then I'll just have like a massive amount to fold and I'll do it all right away and then I'll be all caught up and back to like, you know, good and I'll have empty laundry baskets for this next week but I didn't wash the laundry. So I might try and do that now, especially if you go to the gym. You a hair. <laughs> Is that it? Yep. There you go. Okay. <laughs> How did today's vlog go? Editing it? It was fine, I think. Fun and montage with Christmas music? I mean, yeah, I basically just made it all the Christmas music because we didn't do, like, the clips we took, it wasn't, like, any talking. It was yeah. just kind of, like, showing people and, I don't know. I'm really happy with that. I'm happy, like, to have it for, like, future years. We can look back on each year's Christmas tree hunt. I think that'll be, like, really fun. Yeah, it'll be fun. That'll be really nice. And I also, like, kind of, um, I added, uh, like, freeze frames. For like pictures and stuff. Oh, okay. You know, like where we like. That's fun. Right? Yeah, I thought that was cute. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it wasn't too boring and just like listening to music for like five minutes. But <laughs> I think it was, I don't know. I, I was happy with how it turned out. I hope you guys liked it too. I feel like it's the best way to like do all our Christmassy stuff and vlog it, but not have the vlogging intrude on like. Yeah. You know. Because like I wouldn't really mind that like in the future. I don't know. Like. I don't see vlogging as really, like, intruding on our life, especially the, the way we've been doing it, like, now. Like, I don't feel like I've been, you know, vlogging instead of living life. I just feel like i kind of been, like, vlogging while living life. You know what I mean? But, like, I don't know. Yeah. You're, Is it you're back? Out. Ugh, I don't really care. You guys are used to my hair sticking up all over the place and my <laughs> super messy, messy buns. <laughs> but, yeah. That's kind of um, how our day has been, or how my day has been going, and I will keep you updated on what we do for the rest of the day. Okie dokie, so Melissa just left for the gym, and I'm kind of just tr deciding, or trying to decide what I'm going to do while she's gone. I just put in my first little load of laundry. There's going to be two, and so after that I'll be able to fold everything, which will be really nice. And hopefully, like I was saying, I will be able to kind of be completely, you know, caught up with that. And yeah. But other than that, I'm trying to decide basically if I should edit all of my bridesmaids box like pictures for the blog post because I just never got around to it last week and I kind of just let it slide because it's Christmas and I'm busy. But I still definitely want to get that up just to like, you know, have it up. But I need to edit all the pictures. I still haven't done that and I just don't feel like doing that. So it's between that and watching 90210 and painting my nails. So I kind of think I'm going to paint my nails because I've been meaning to, I do need to put more Vaseline on them because they're just super dry. It's like winter and so everything is just, everything is just super freaking dry now and I hate it. I hate it so much. I don't want it to be winter. I know I've said that like a million times and you guys are like, we know Merit, but <laughs> it's cold and uh, I don't like it. But I'm not sure which color I'm going to paint them yet. I've been really into doing like actual kind of like Christmassy and fall colors this season, but... I don't know if I'm kind of like over that right now or if I feel like it, I don't know. So, what should I do? You know what I haven't done this season yet is do like a coppery color. I have a couple options. I have like two from Essie and then I have some OPI ones that are like just kind of like coppery and bronzy and I always have fun with that, but I don't know if I feel like it. I didn't crack that, did I? No, okay. <laughs> I don't know. Ugh, I also kind of just don't even feel like painting my nails. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I'm feeling super lazy right now. <laughs> I don't feel like doing anything except sitting back and watching 902 now. But I'm trying to make myself be productive and like do something while I do that. So that's what I'm trying to... I'm trying to find the one productive thing I kind of feel like doing right now and that's kind of hard, not gonna lie. The more I think about it, the more I'm, I really I really don't want to paint my nails. I don't want to do it at all. It feels like a pain in the butt. I don't feel like sitting there with wet nails for like an hour and not being able to do anything else. So... 
I'm gonna do my bullet journal. That's what I feel like doing. I'm gonna work on my bullet journal and getting that all set up and, you know, ready for the next couple of weeks so I don't have to worry about that and I can actually get myself organized. I've been saying this, I feel like, nonstop in the vlogs in the last, like, week or so, but um, I've done a little bit and so I'm gonna kind of do a little bit more and so... Oh, it's the start of a new week already again. Jeez, how does time go so freaking fast? I feel like I was gonna be caught up with that last week, but then I just did not. So yeah, I'm gonna do that and play around with that and just kind of have fun. And yeah, I think the pages that I'm making right now, like, you know, obviously the month of December and like the rest of that are gonna be the last that I'm gonna do in this notebook. And then we're gonna move into either Moleskins or Lecterns, Lecterm, Lecterm. I don't know. I don't know how to say that brand, but like, I think it's German, I'm pretty sure, those like other moleskin like notebooks. And also one of you guys recommended, I forget, I have to look up the brand name again. I forget what it was. One of you guys recommended another brand of notebooks and I never got around to Googling that, so I need to go find that like brand name and look at those and see if I would, you know, rather get one of those. And yeah, because I really want a pretty fun color. And moleskins, like, I feel like it's really hard to find the exact planner that you would want, especially in stores. Because I'm going to want A5, I want dot grid, or A5-ish, you know what I mean? And then the dot grid interior, and I want like a pretty, like, cover. And I'm also kind of picky about the spine. I don't like a lot of moleskin spines, so I feel like that's going to just make things harder. And I feel like I'm never going to find the perfect moleskin in stores, and so if I wanted to go moleskin, I'd have to order online. If I was ordering online, I might as well look into other options while I'm doing that. All right, so anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling because I feel like I'm also like out of breath right now for some reason. But yeah, I'm gonna play around in my bullet journal and I'm gonna watch some 90210. Actually, real quick before that, I remembered that I needed to make another batch of my like DIY facial toner and I really wanted to share with you guys what I do because I just, I absolutely love this toner and yeah. And it's made with really like, you know, nice and natural products and it doesn't like burn your skin. It's not like super alcoholy, and so I wanted to like I don't know, let you guys know what it is in case you were looking for a good facial toner. I've really, I've been using it for the last, like, I want to say at least six months or something, and I've just been loving it. It feels so good and soft putting it on your skin. My skin feels nice and balanced after I use it, and yeah, so this is what I do. Okay, so these are all, like, the supplies that I use to make my homemade um, facial toner, and the first thing is this Heritage Store Rose Water and Glycerin. And this is what it looks like. I just get it from Whole Foods, and this is actually the perfect amount. It's four fluid ounces, and it fills exactly half of this little pump bottle that I got on Amazon. And so I just unscrew this whole thing and dump it right in my pump bottle thing. And see, that fills up pretty much exactly half. And this acts as a nice little, like, moisturizer. I don't know, I think this is what really makes the toner feel nice and soft when you're, like, applying it on your skin with a cotton pad. And it also kind of cuts out the apple cider vinegar smell and, like, um, kind of, like, stinging sensation, I guess you'd call it. So, yeah, the other ingredient is, obviously, apple cider vinegar, and this is Bragg's Original Raw Unfiltered and with the mother. That's really important. And so, basically, I turn this upside down a couple of times to make sure it's nice and mixed up and then I just fill up the rest of my little bottle with apple cider vinegar. And that is all. I put the um, top back on and I got this little jar or bottle thing, whatever you want to call it, from Amazon and I really like it because it's one of those things where you can just take your like cotton swab or cotton pad or whatever you use and just press down a couple of times and the liquid comes up right into your, you know, cotton ball or whatever. And yeah, I really like it. It makes it super convenient so I don't have to like, you know, dump the bottle or whatever over the cotton and yeah, I don't know, I just really like dispensing this way. And so yeah, every time I use it I kind of, you know, mix it up a, a little bit just to make sure it, it's all mixed up. <laughs> And yeah, I hope that was at least semi-interesting. I've just really been liking this toner. I got the idea from um, Jen over on Pretty Neat Living. She's one of my all-time favorite YouTubers. And yeah, when she recommended this toner, I definitely wanted to give it a try because I like all the other toners. I used to use like Clinique and I've used ones from the drugstore before and they all, they're just so alcoholy and they like hurt your skin. I feel like they're stripping it of its natural like oils and stuff. And this definitely, it doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel like it's, you know, stripping your skin at all. It just, it feels nice and moisturizing and soft and balancing. And, and yeah, I really love it. So I hope you guys, if you try it, you like it too. Let me know if you do in the comments below. I'd love to hear, like, I don't know, I'd love to hear if you guys try it out. But yeah, that's what I use. <laughs> While I'm not, like, super strict about it, I do like to try and use um, kind of, like, natural and chemical-free, or, you know, as chemical-free as they can be, skincare products 
whenever I can. And so this toner definitely qualifies, at least for me. I feel like it's a very, you know, nice natural alternative to the store-bought brands. And yeah, I just, again, like I don't kill myself with those kind of things because I realize, I mean, there's only, I don't know, I just feel like there's only so far that you can do realistically sometimes. And I, I like to try and get natural whenever possible, and I am slowly trying to kind of restructure my whole, you know, skincare and, you know, cleaning supplies and pretty much everything in my home to a more natural, you know, kind of thing. But again, I can't just overhaul, you know, every single product in my home immediately because that would be, you know, A, expensive and B, like, it just takes time to find products that are natural and still work. So... I don't know. <laughs> but there's also things that aren't natural that I still kind of want to try. And so like I said, I, I don't know. I'm not like crazy about it, but that is something that is fairly important to me. And so I try and do it where I can. But yeah, I'm going to stop talking now and I'm going to go watch my show and play with my bullet journal. So sorry about the loud dryer in the background, but I wanted to show you guys what we're having for dinner because it looks super yummy. We are having some turkey breast that Melissa made and then, well, she made it all, of course, <laughs> as always. So we're having turkey breast, a huge thing of quinoa, as always, when we have quinoa. And then, what kind of squash is that? Butternut. Butternut. Looks super yummy, and I am so hungry. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Thanks for doing the laundry with the You're, loud dryer. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, guys, so like I've mentioned before, we have um, a tradition in my family. She threw it up on the table. Woman. <laughs> Dakota threw uh, Woodstock up on the entry table. <laughs> Looney Tunes. If you can't tell, we just got back from a walk. <laughs> Anyways, um, so since I think like 1987-ish, 6-ish, I want to say, a couple years before I was born, my mom and her sister um, every Christmas make... A, a different ornament and to hand out to the family and so She's on the couch is she seriously what are you doing interrupting mom's vlog what are you looking <clears throat> for she's like looking around yeah Anyway, continue. Okay, anyways. So, yeah, this is a tradition that's been going on since before I was born. And then, like, I think the year I was born or the year after something like that, they started, my mom started making three. One for, you know, my dad and her, one for me, and one for any future siblings I would have. And so this year, since we, you know, now officially have our real home and we're, you know, we're getting married and so we're more, you know, adulty, we, I finally got my set of ornaments. And so I thought it'd be fun to kind of go through a couple each night for the next couple you know, weeks or whatever, and put them on the uh, on the Christmas tree and show you guys because the ornaments are really, really cool. And I don't want to show them all at once because that would be like a 20-minute clip in itself. And I want to, you know, be able to kind of show all of them because I think they're really, really cool. And this is like one of my favorite traditions from Christmas. And yeah, so we are going to go through, I think, about four Dakota, today. if you... Wait, oh my goodness. <laughs> She just, I just had to get it off the Are you serious? Yes. Stop throwing your toy on things. She was so good, though. She You're threw cool. away the on the bar card. I know. She is really good. She almost threw it on the chair. I know. <laughs> I think so uh, Woodstock is a little Stop too... Stop throwing Woodstock on things. <laughs> I'm not getting it again. <laughs> okay. Would you like to do the honors and pick the first ornament? Do you want me to? I don't care. You go first. Okay. Like she didn't want to go first. No, I don't care. All right, so are they all on the bottom? I don't know. No, here's a couple, okay. okay. So this is from the year 2002, so when I was 22? No, 12. 12. <laughs> Shh. Oh, actually, I'm totally gonna age myself with this, whatever. <laughs> all right, so. She's 26. Hey! And I'm younger. Nope, by a month. Two months. Shush. All right, anyways, this is a felt snowflake, and then she did, like, um, a little beading detail work on the center of the snowflake. And then the every ornament has to have a year so that, you know, we know when it's from, and this was on a shrinky dink. Is it getting it? There you go. And, yeah, it's just adorable. So there is the first cook crustal ornament of the year for our personal tree. This is very exciting. <laughs> Where should she go? I don't know. Pick a good spot. Right there, like where your hand is. Right here? It looks, well, the train's there. I get you. I mean, you're gonna, we're going to have multiple layers of ornaments. We need, like, hangy things. You don't hangy things. I have some. They're in the other box. Okay. Whoops, that's backwards. <laughs> Dakota. 
Interrupting things as per usual. <laughs> there we oh, go. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> All right, your turn. <laughs> I guess there's some flat ones. Yeah, I think that's what's on the top. 2008. 2008, would you like to show the vlog? Looks like it's a wreath. So, yeah, so it's another felt one. I assume all the felt ones are on top, so 2000, what did you say, 12? Eight. Eight. <laughs> so you were how old? Shush. <laughs> and so it's a pretty wreath. And so like every year we try and like pick one that has some sort of like Christmas, you know, related concept or theme to it. Obviously, Christmas wreath and snowflake. <laughs> This looks pretty covered right here. Yeah, we need more on this side. Yeah. It's a delicate process. I see that. <laughs> Not sure if you noticed. This needs to be fixed. I threw Woodstock, and Dakota doesn't know where it ended up. Oh goodness! Munchies, it's on the landing. Up there, honey, come here. Good Lord, come here. It's up there. Go get it. Yeah. There we go. Then Mom finally picked a spot. <laughs> okay. Hey! Did you really? Did you really just throw that over oh my, my head? Oh, God. You hit me in the head with it. <laughs> She's a nacho. I know. Oh, I know. I really, I bet you my, yes. Okay, this is my favorite ornament, I think, out of them all. And this has a really fun story behind it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And it is from, can you see it? Okay. And so it is from the year 2000. You can see that on the back. And this is actually a exact replica of my mom's stocking that she's had since childhood. And I think my aunt has the same one or similar or something like that. I'm not sure. But like, I just, I mean, I think it's so cute. It's like, a, it's because this is the stocking I grew up with, you know, my mom having. And it's like an exact little replica. And so she cut little tiny felt versions of each little of the things. Are you Dakota? Goodness. She is so clingy. No, she just wants to have her toy <laughs> Okay. Anyways, this is my favorite ornament of them all, I think. But then again, I say that about a lot of them. But I really think it's true with the stocking. And so, oh yeah, so for most of them, they just said Cook or Crostal, I believe, on the top, but like mine and Hallie's has our first name, just for fun. Or I think, no, I think they all said Cook, except for mine and Hallie's. Maybe. I don't know. We am going to put that one up there. Okay. Is that just like the cutest thing you've ever seen? I love it. All right, last one for the night. Pick a good one. Can I break into the bottom? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just make sure we don't forget that there are ones on the top. Uh -uh, no picking what you want. You just got to get what you get. It's a good one. It's a good one. Nice. 2005. 2005, and so this is a little... What were they? Peppermint candies, I guess, yeah. they'd be? Yeah. That's what it looks like. And the peppermint candy, I believe, is made out of clay. Yeah. Yeah. And then the tag is really cool. She hand drew all the little different numbers for every single ornament. And it's, like, laminated, so, you know, it obviously it's protected over the years. And yeah, it's just like a little mini candy. All right, that's a good one. That's an annoying one. <laughs> I you know you're cute. Go. That's a good one too. Right here. Right here. I'm double that up. All right. Good job, team. Thanks. <laughs> so yeah, I thought it'd be fun to do kind of like a couple of these ornaments each night for the rest of. I don't know how long it'll take. There should be about 26 ornaments, I would assume. Yeah. And so yeah, that divided by five. I don't know. It'll be. Actually, maybe way less than I think. I don't know. <laughs> Over the next couple of days, weeks, whatever and show you guys all the fun ornaments that she made.
Oh, thank you. Did you give mom kisses? <laughs> You're so sweet. Hi, beautiful. Hi. I'm trying to drink more water. Yeah. How's that going? I drank this whole thing today. Nice. How much is that? One liter. One liter. Well done. A plus. Gold star. How much are you supposed to drink? Eight glasses, whatever the heck that means. <laughs> I think it's eight cups, which is... Yeah. Okay. Mm. 16 ounces in two cups. That's helpful. How many cups in a liter? So you drank half the recommended amount. 4.227 U.S. customary There's cups. There's no way that's four cups. Why not? I just don't feel like it is. I totally feel like it is. And it's not four cups. It's 4.227 cups. <laughs> <laughs> well, I drank more than that because yeah. I had another bottle of water I was drinking out of. So Nice. Well done. Thank you. All right. Well, anyway, guys, we're going to head to bed. <laughs> I'm trying to be healthier. I know. I'm proud of you. Not that I'm not healthy already. Yeah. Actually, ever since I discovered I can eat chocolate again. <laughs> I've been going a little off the board. Just a little bit. A little overboard with the sugar. It's okay. You didn't have sugar for how many years? I mean, Three. you're allowed to go a little overboard. Well, I'd say like there was like a year and then I ate it again and then I stopped again. Yeah. It, 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 I mean, like there's been short, small periods throughout the last like four years. Anyways, we're heading to bed. Yes, we are. Hi, are you itchy? Hi, Dakota. Camera what? thief. No, I was trying to get it. A... Time for bed. I want Christmas. Oh my God, will you stop filming up there? <laughs> She takes the camera and goes <laughs> up to the ceiling. Melody saw you. Because <laughs> you can actually see everybody when I hold the camera. Mm -hmm. You can see everyone when I hold the camera Mary too. Mary holds it like this. No, I don't. Just because I have short arms. <laughs> <laughs> I got big head, little arms. <laughs> Apparently like, oh that was God. offensive. <laughs> right? <laughs> All right. I want Christmas. Oh my God, I know. I'm so excited. We should just do it this weekend. Let's no. just do it this weekend. We still need to go down to Hamden. Yeah. When are we going to do that? I will go one night, I guess. We have this, like, um, it's 34th Street, mm -hmm. where it's like a, ho a a street full of, like, row homes, and they, like, go all oh, out the, for Christmas. It's like a tradition, like, every year, yeah, they put mm -hmm. all these lights up. And they and kind like... of string lights, like, back and forth across the street, yeah. and, like... They have, I mean, their entire yards and houses and roofs and everything it's are really like, cool. It is really cool. I can't imagine what the electricity bill. I wonder oh if the God, city I gives know. them a tax break. I would bet on electricity it probably or brings something. in that some sort of level of tourism. You know what I mean? I don't know. That'd be cool, though. I think yeah. actually, like, you know. I feel like I could see that. I don't know. All right, my Who arm knows? hurts. You've been holding it for like a minute. And I also went to the gym today. Bliss. All right, guys, we're going to head to bed. <laughs> How did Orville get turned all the way around? I don't know. That is a good question. Maybe it's like our version of Elf on a Shelf. <laughs> Creepy Orville turning yeah. around. He got turned around all the way. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. That's really weird. Hello. All right, so we have a styrofoam owl named Orville. What shall we name our styrofoam deer? <laughs> <laughs> That's the question of the day. Darcy? No. Oh, I like Darcy. I like Darcy. Darcy the deer and Orville Darcy the owl. Darcy as in like a really dorky girl. Oh, well, I shouldn't say that. I apologize I, yeah. to anybody named Darcy. Darcy or Dorsey? Darcy. Darcy. So like Darcy from like Pride and Prejudice. I mean, yeah, but I was thinking the girl's name, Darcy. Because that's a girl's name too. It's not just Mr. Darcy. I like, well, I'm saying I like Mr. Darcy. If okay. you want to go Darcy, it's Mr. we Darcy. gotta go Mr. Darcy. Mr. Darcy. Um, but it's Darcy funny the story. Oh my god. So, <laughs> Merritt really wanted to watch Pride and Prejudice. Like, the, the original one. T uh, what is it? T Annie. Sure. It's the anyway. Annie version. Um, the like, the six DVD, hour one. The DVD cover has Mr. Darcy on the front of it. Well, it was like sitting up in one of our old apartments, we had the TV on the wall, and then there was a couch next to it, 
like a smaller couch. So Mr. Darcy was like on a shelf that was like level with the back of the couch. Yeah, the DVD was like standing up. And it was up. showing, it was facing out. So one night Dakota made eye contact with Mr. Darcy and lost it. She got I so mean, freaked like, out. She was doing like She the, was like freaked <laughs> out by it. She was like, like. Barking at it and like it was and like, I picked it up and chased her with it. She was like legit like freaking she out. She had issues with Mr. Darcy. Yeah. Like they got beef. And it was actually it was actually like the DVD cover because I picked it up a couple weeks later and she did it again. Mm-hmm. Like she freaked out again about yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Weird dog. I know Mr. Darcy's a sketchy dude. <laughs> yes. Yes, he is. <laughs> I wouldn't trust him. Speaking of which, if you have not seen Pride, Prejudice, and Zombies, it is a fantastic movie, in my opinion, and you should go see it. I want to watch that again. I need to finish reading Pride and Prejudice. I'm only like... Well, we got a nice I mean, I'm Christmas a billion break. chapters in, because her chapters are like two pages long. It's yeah. weird, but... We got Christmas break coming up. Yeah, maybe I'll try I've that. Asked, I got I, a really pretty version for, from Barnes & Noble, so I love it. I asked for some books for Christmas, so maybe we can read together if mm-hmm. I get one of these books that I asked for. What books did you ask for? Um, I mentioned to you that I wanted to read the, um, the books that they wrote kind of after The Walking Dead's TV show came out about the governor. Um, and then I told my parents that I wanted another book called The Road. It's about, like, this guy and his... This father and his son, and there it's like, you know, the world, post-apocalyptic, blah, 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 blah. Typical pop culture stuff. Interesting. You asked? I know. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I thought I got that, okay, stop talking, you're boring, look. I get <laughs> no. that look sometimes. You do I'm not. Talking about video games or something. Well. <laughs> or zombies. When do you talk about zombies? <laughs> All right, I'm tired. Me too. We're going to go to bed. Good night. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will... <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you tomorrow, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Good night. night.